Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies and we've been following Thor Love and Thunder's production for quite some time and it now looks like we have a full on confirmation of some characters returning that we maybe didn't think would be coming back in this upcoming film. But first we wanted to give a quick reminder we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately so if you guys want to follow us on Instagram check it out link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there so make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story now if you guys remember all the way back to Thor Ragnarok you may remember a really interesting scene where we got to see a fake version of Thor and a fake version of Loki kind of acting out some of the events of the previous Thor movies and it was comical but also a really cool way to quickly recap audiences on things that happened in movies years ago and there was rumors circulating for quite some time that Matt Damon might have been in Australia getting ready to reprise his role as actor Loki for the new Thor movie and it looks like we now have a leak revealing that he was spotted on set in his Loki outfit alongside Chris Hemsworth's own brother Luke Hemsworth playing the character of actor Thor and we also saw some of the other characters who were playing actor characters like the actor Odin but more interesting we saw a new addition to this stage set of characters that is kind of being expanded on here with Melissa McCarthy playing Hela or the actor version of Hela in whatever stage play we would be seeing in Thor 4 or Thor Love and Thunder. And actually it's really interesting just to see this gag that was introduced in the first Thor Ragnarok movie, the first one by Taika Waititi, kind of being brought back again because it was a really funny scene just to see Matt Damon for whatever reason playing a Loki character. And the fact that we might get to see this scene again is really interesting. Now it does look like the scene that is being recreated may potentially be the one scene from Thor Ragnarok where we kind of first see Hela and Thor and Loki are kind of standing there against her. It'll be really interesting to see how that ends up getting expanded on a little bit. Nonetheless, it is really cool just to see that in general, the fact that this is a new Thor movie, they're still going to be kind of staying true to the narrative aspect of this film being a follow-up film to Thor Ragnarok and the other Thor movies even with Jane Foster making a reappearance. And one thing that a lot of fans were concerned about originally when Thor Ragnarok was released that it would be more of a reboot for the character and kind of draw away from a lot of the storylines that were introduced in the first few films. But it doesn't look like that. It just looks like in general, this will continue to lean into the more tonal shift that we saw in Thor Ragnarok, but still is a continuation of a lot of the storylines and plot lines that were originally introduced way back when the first Thor came out and through Thor The Dark World as well. Now, another interesting part of news also is a lot of speculation and rumors regarding whether or not we may be seeing another actor returning to the Thor series even though his character kind of died in Avengers Infinity War and that would actually be Idris Elba's character Heimdall with a lot of these rumors and speculation coming from the fact that Idris Elba has appeared in a lot of social media posts with Chris Hemsworth and even appeared to go to Chris Hemsworth's 80s inspired birthday party. Now we do know Idris Elba is in Australia filming for a different movie but it is interesting that the timing kind of leads them up to kind of cause fans to suspect as to whether or not there's the possibility that Idris Elba will be reprising his role. We did have a sneak peek or at least a hint during the Loki trailer where we did hear a character yelling Heimdall in the background during the trailer or some sort of allusion to that character existing. And while we don't know for certain if there is going to be any crossover, we do wonder if maybe something from the Loki television show coming out later this year might tie things in to Thor Love and Thunder. But really, we don't have everything known for certain just yet, but it is interesting to see that not only are they bringing back some actors to do something funny, but also they might be trying something new as well. So what do you think of this news? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and notifications on for more videos like this uploaded every single day. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.